Hello and welcome to Hump Day. It's Wednesday, but you're getting through the week and you're smashing it. I am so excited to be with you again today. We are looking at the God who gives us grace. He gives us every good gift and every perfect gift. And that said in our passage for today, James 1 and 17. I'm going to read out the whole thing uh, in case you haven't read it. And then we're going to expand on it a bit more. So every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. So every good gift and every perfect gift comes from the Father of lights, comes from God himself. That is so cool. That's so cool. He is a God who wants to give every good and perfect gift to us. And as discussed yesterday, we talked about some of those gifts. We talked about faith. We talked about salvation. We talked about grace and these three components to our salvation. And those aren't the only things he gives us. I want to list off a few more things that God has given us that are stated within scripture. And then I'm going to land with encouraging us to go into today glorifying God for how good of a God he is, for praising him as the greatest gift giver of all mankind. So as we spoke about faith, grace, salvation, Ephesians 2 verse 8 to 9, they, that talks about them being gifts from God. John three sixteen, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus. Jesus is a gift from God. 1 Corinthians 12 and 14 talks about these gifts, these gifts, these spiritual gifts like prophecy, like words of knowledge, like words of wisdom, like healing, like tongues and the interpretation of tongues, like administration. All of these spiritual gifts are given to us by God. John 14, 26 talks about how the Holy Spirit is a gift. Second Peter 1 verse 3 says his divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. So he has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us to his own glory and excellence. Let's worship God today for his glorious grace and the glorious fact of how great a gift giver he is. That in our hopelessness, God has given us a hope and a future. So go today and give glory to God for all that he has given us, the very breath in our lungs for how good he is. Give him glory today. Worship him today in all that you do. Have a good day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.